Hello everybody, this is Phony Joe Bobbin here, and welcome to SimRail, the Railway Simulator. That's right, we have a brand new game to play! And we are playing SimRail, of course. Um, brand new game. In fact, this game is so new that it isn't even out yet. Well, it is out there, but it's not really at the moment. Uh, right now it's currently in sort of the beta uh, testing mode type thing, so you can't actually purchase this game right now. But what you can do though is you can sign up to be a play tester for SimRail. Um, so the actual release date for it is January uh, 13th, um, 2023. Uh, but if you sign up uh, to be a tester, you can play this game a little bit early. And uh, of course, we have the multiplayer, that's the big feature. Uh, for Simreal uh, right now um, and multiplayer has actually already been testing for the past few weeks now um, so they've I think they've ironed out most of the uh, the things with that um, so if you want to give multiplayer a try then sign up to be a tester right now you might get they might let you in uh, but for today though we're going to be playing train driver which is essentially the single player mode of this game uh, single player mode just unlocked um, yesterday it was actually a, a day uh, behind though like uh, this video was actually supposed to be out yesterday, uh, but it's been delayed to today because for some reason the single player testing never really opened up until like the end of the day, and by that point it was too late to record. So I figured I would just wait till today, for instance Thursday, video's going out Friday, uh, which is today, as you're seeing this, it's brand new. Um, uh, but yeah, so uh, welcome to SimReal, lots of stuff to talk about this game. Of course, there's still some stuff that's locked. We have the uh, depot here, which I guess is where you can look at some trains. And then we have the editor. Ooh, now that is something that I cannot wait to get into. Um, uh, sadly, that won't be a thing at launch, but I cannot wait until it gets a a added in later. But anyway, let's play with what we have now. We're going to go to Train Driver. Um, so, in case you didn't already know, SimRail... Uh, currently only has one route at the moment, but it is a very large route. Uh, and the route in question is based in Poland. That's right. We have a train simulator that's pretty much based around the country of Poland. Yeah. You know how over in the Dovetail Games world, we got, we're pretty much stuck in America, UK, and Germany. Well, thanks to this game, we're able to explore the railways of Poland. Um, now, there's only one route at the moment. Uh, there's the big one, which goes from Katowice to Warzone. And there's also this one, which is Katowice to... I have absolutely no idea to pronounce that, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of these names because I am absolutely not fluent in any other languages at all. Uh, but anyway, so this is what we have at the moment. Um, now, I believe when this game comes out, it's going to have like 10 scenarios or something. Right now, there's only three, though. So right now, there's the Katowice to Thingamajig, which has these, this scenario with the uh, tracks locomotive. And um, this scenario, you can actually play in the uh, SimRail Prologue. So there's the full game, which isn't actually out yet, but there's also a thing called the SimRail Prologue, uh, which you can play right now for free. Um, and you get two scenarios with that, one of which is the uh, E-186, which I believe is based off of the DB uh, tracks range. Uh. And then if we go over to Katowice to Warzo, which is the full big one, this is a 316 kilometer long. So this is, so you only get, so we're only going to have one route in SimRail uh, when SimRail releases, but this one route is absolutely huge. Like you're going to be driving, you're, you're going to be driving on this route for quite a while because there's so much to do and so much to see. So uh, we're going to be in the Katowice to Warzo route for uh, today. I, I, I think there's like different i mean i think there's a part of the same route but they're like different bits of the same route i'm not sure why they have that separated but anyway um and at the moment we only have two scenarios for this route. we have the uh the en 76 which is the uh, commuter train uh this is another one that you can actually drive in the prologue for free right now uh however there's also this the eu07 um this is not available in the prologue this right this is only available in the full version and you can drive it right now in this uh playtest version that's out at the moment um so there's a tutorial which is good for me because actually it's kind of like a a hybrid tutorial and scenario so we're going to be learning how to drive this locomotive while actually driving it like uh properly and stuff so uh we got this eu07 locomotive Rolling stock is 4E. I think that's like the coach type or something. Uh, we're doing passenger stuff today. So duration is 50 minutes. Season is a summertime. Difficulty is 3. So that's interesting. Required level 1. I guess we have like required levels. Well, I'm currently at level 2. Uh, but maybe I'll get more levels up uh, from playing this scenario. So then, let's waste no more time and get into it. Scenario. Let's throw EU7. Let's do this. 
Dzisiaj poprowadzisz pociąg osobowy z Zawiercia do Katowic. Na początku sprawdź łączność w dyżurnym ruchu. Okay, that's it. Enter the locomotive. Oh, here we go. Approach it and click on the doors or press one on the keyboard. All right, so here's our power for the day. This is it. It's a uh, older electric locomotive. It looks like uh, I don't know anything about it, but it definitely looks like a 1950s sort of like electric locomotive of Poland. So we're gonna walk around here and get into the locomotive. Um, so I believe we can. Let's click on the door. Let's have a bit of fun. Let's click on the door. Can I do that? Oh, I can't. Okay, I can't take. Okay, it doesn't like me click on the door. All right, fine. I'll press one Open then. Open the cover on the left side of the panel and move battery enable switch upwards. All right, here we go. Uh. uh open the cover on the left side. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Can I? Okay, there we go. So I can walk around now with the cab. On the driver's seat, press on it. Oh, I guess I have to stay in the seat. Okay then. Uh huh. Open the cover on the left side of the panel and move battery enable switch upwards. Move the battery enable switch upwards. Where I think it's here. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Uh, let's see. That's headlamp, voltage, stuff. Yep. I don't think any of this is the. They get a lot of options though, um, of buttons to press, but I can't seem to find the cover. I don't know where there's a cover though. Where's the cover? Okay, so I had to go onto the internet uh, to find out what I was trying to look for, and um, I'm gonna be honest, this tutorial isn't really the best explained thing um, in the world. Like, there's just some stuff that just doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I'm gonna go through that right now. Open the cover on the left side of the panel and move battery enable switch upwards. So I finally found where where the panel is, and it's here. It's this. Thing here, you have to drag it up and down. You can't really see it, but there's like this red thingamajig here, and you have to drag it upwards to then actually see the stuff inside the panel. So now you can do the battery. As you see right here, it's highlighted. Turn the key there we go. To activate the cabin. I have to put the panel down and then activate the cabin, I guess. Radio and set desired channel. Okay, now I'm gonna do this. That's Rise the radio the switch pantograph. on. Okay, now pantograph, so we can do that here. Wait for the voltage to appear. Okay, give it a couple minutes for that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. This tutorial is the best explained thing right now. Is active. Use differential relay breaker reset button. Okay, now here's here's something that they don't tell you. So you have to use this, but that doesn't do anything because you have to set the reverser into a position that isn't neutral. Now that's in forwards. Now you can Enable do this. Circuit breaker. Now you can do a circuit breaker like this. Enable converter. Converter. Wait for charging current to stabilize. And now I'll wait for that. Enable so. Compressor. And the compressor, which is there. Wait for a main tank to fill. Alrighty. So yeah. Um. So I had to do a couple of Google searches on the internet. Thankfully, I was able to find the uh, Simrail forms and also. Our good friend Andre is was also up, it was able to help me with the panel because you can it's not clearly visible as is here you have to really look at it and then you, you 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 yeah then it works it's not the most well put together thing at the moment I definitely uh, now uh, granted this is a beta version it's not the final product oh, okay so that's running I think and then the the call button that. on your radio telephone to confirm the readiness of the train dispatcher. Okay. There we go, radio check. Alright. Okay, train is ready. I went for the signal, so this will have a shunt signal. Oops. Oh, I'm ready to go. I said wait for signal, but I guess we're ready to go now. Alrighty. I guess I got to get into some other technicalities once we get to the station. Okay, we're ready to signal. Close line conductors. Move drive handle to the first position. Yes. Successively increased position of the drive handle. Okay, well, speed of 16, we have a red light, so we gotta be careful here. Uh, 
Okay, red light in a thousand feet, so we have to pull up to this platform here. Avoid long distance driving on resistant position. Brutus oh, accelerate brake, pushing its handle forward. Train brake handle is in a braking position. Yes, we're coming to a stop. Move train brake handle into driving position. Yes, the next stop is, uh, um. First, move shunting and oh, here we go. Zero position. Okay, now it's saying brake. Okay, you can stop. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Okay, open the doors. I think those are opened. Not too sure, though. Oh, it doesn't seem to give you a way to turn on the headlights, by the way. Uh, headlights. Where's the headlights? I think those are just... Let's see. Top. There we go. Alrighty, so I guess I have a minute to, to let the passengers on the train. Um, but yeah, as I was trying to say, this tutorial at the moment isn't the most sort of like direct thing out there. Now, like I said, um, this isn't like the final version. This probably won't be how it will be uh, when the game releases um, in a few weeks' time. Uh, but, you know, this is me playing it as it is now. And um, I mean, the tutorial is mostly tells you what to do, but... First of all, they don't tell you where the panel actually is. It would help if it would be helpful if they highlight it. And secondly, there's this thing here. Um, they don't tell you like they show you how to do it, except they don't tell you to put the um, reverse into forwards or reverse, and only then you can do it. So um, just bear that in mind, though. I guess if you're like if you might be playing this scenario, say um, like while it's still in the uh, in the beta stages or testing stages and stuff like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyways, now that we finally got past getting this train uh, actually started and ready, I guess now we will take it on the road and see the world. And okay, we'll close the door. Okay, we'll do that. So running. Pushing its handle forward. Train brake handle is in the cutoff position. Yes. Move train brake handle into driving position. Release accelerator brake. Ah, okay. Pushing its handle forward. To close line conductor, move drive handle to the first position. Okay. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Alright, that's a point. Yay. I guess it's also single player mode. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So, um, so this locomotive is a, is a uh, older style locomotive where, um, so how this thing works that it, it has a, a tap changer, um, where you have to make sure that you don't apply too much power, or else the train will just break itself. Um, Avoid long distance driving on resistant position. Oh. To close line conductor. Okay, I guess let's stay on. Keep it on one. Okay, now I can go over the speed here. Okay, so you might see this current thing here. Uh, you need to you need to watch that as to not apply too much power. Drive handle is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for oh. long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Cool. Successively increase okay, that's a little bit too much handle. power, I think. Um I guess we're gonna go allowed to go on full power then. Drive handle is now on non-resistant. Alright, power! Here we go! For long distance driving, you can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Alright, we're on the road! Look at that! Approach it and click on the doors or press one on the keyboard. Look at that. So here's our train. And we're on the move. Can you go to the flyby camera? Nope, okay. Let's get a screenshot here, just for the fun of it. That should, that should do. Alright. Drive handle is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for a Okay, I guess the, uh, since we're in the tutorial, he's gonna keep talking about stuff and, and sausages. Alright, so we're finally on the road. Uh, now I'm going to a station called Lazy, <laughs> as I like to call it. Okay, it's actually pronounced Waze, but Lazy sounds funnier. <laughs> no disrespect to the uh, Polish.
I think I'm gonna disable the curse right now. Um, better check point time. Got some points. Hurrah! Okay, now the tutorial thing is going. All right, give me a second. Okay, so I've decided to uh, disable the cursor on the um, on the recording just because I think it might get a little bit annoying. Uh, figured I would leave the cursor on for the tutorial section just so you guys can you know watch what I'm doing and figure it out. Uh, but now the cursor has been turned off uh, just in case it gets annoying while I'm actually just you know just driving the train and having a bit of fun. But here we go, we're on the road now, driving a train. Yes. So yeah, welcome to SimRail. Um, what a game this is, and what a game this will be when it comes out and as it progresses further along. Okay, this is like this ticking noise on the, the outside, on the inside, so I think I'm gonna stay on the outside. And you know what? I think I'm gonna just stay in the exterior view anyway, just so you guys can kind of just get a view of the route and stuff like that. Um, okay, but okay, camera's being a bit weird though. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, I have to make sure I don't put the camera too low then. Oh, there's a big yard there. Oh, um, that's pretty cool. Um, I also like this way to look more sounds. I only got three cokes though. Wait, it's only three coaches. Ah, it's the Heartland Flyer. Oh. <laughs> and if you guys don't know what that is, uh, that's kind of a, a meme that we have sort of in our group thing. Oh, whoops. Uh, speed's going all the way down to 25. I didn't see that coming. Okay, I'm going to slow down for that. Okay, speeding. Um, I'm gonna slow down in time. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, and we. Cr oh, why didn't you tell me where the speed level was coming? Well, that's our first train to in its sim rail. Wow, it trains it. Okay, balls. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so I decided to restart the scenario where we're now leaving the station. And I guess this time we gotta make sure that we actually pay attention to our signals. Let's just put down some power. Avoid long distance driving on resistant position. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're speeding and. Okay, speed should eventually increase to. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, full power. Yep, thank you. you can also use the handle to increase the power. Successively increase position of the drive. Now, uh... Okay, so how this locomotive drives, it essentially has a tap changer. So essentially you have to pay attention to these dials here. And also it's useful to pay attention to the current. I kind of think I've already explained that, but yeah, just pay attention to all those thingamajigs to make sure they don't uh, apply too much power. Otherwise the locomotive will just shut off pretty much and just start all over again. To enter the locomotive, approach it and click on the door. It's being all weird. Yeah, yeah, I know. I want to go on the outside because it's more fun out here. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so yes, yeah, so we have a bit of a derailment there, as you saw. So now, though, uh, we need to make sure. So I guess now we need to pay attention to the speed limits and stuff. So, um, uh, but yeah, welcome to SimRail. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, brand new game. Not sure what to say here, actually. We kind of already went, went through the section here. Uh, but I'm kind of just waiting for when we get up to the, uh, speed limit thing drop. Because, of course, uh, I said speed limit went all the way down to 25, but I couldn't slow down time to not derail or something. I'm going to go over the, uh, points there. But, yeah, essentially this thing has a, uh, tap changer. So it drives more like uh, your more classical electric locomotive, sort of like the class class 87, I think it is, or the uh, BR 155. Um, so yeah, tap change driving in this one, as I think that's how it was in certain 
uh, electric locomotives of the day. Because, of course, this is an older electric locomotive. Here we go. We're going to get on the brakes this time. Okay, hard on the brakes. Come on. Okay, more braking. Come on. There we go. There we go. Missed on a little bit too much there, so probably a bit of power again. Okay, go back to one. There we go. Okay, don't stop. Come on. Okay, we'll put more power on this one. Come on. All right, twenty-five. As we're now approaching Lazy Station. All right, I'm supposed to stop for a little bit though. Let's just drive through. Yeah. So we're not even going to be stopping for a little bit. I'm not sure why we have to go this slow. Alright, well, I guess since we're on the road then, I guess now we'll just talk a bit about the game itself then. Um, so, this is a video um, <laughs> that came out. It's or the video that I'm definitely making it an interesting time. Um, because, <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that Simril is finally here. Or, well, okay, it's not here, here. But it's like, it's it's here where we can play it. But, uh. um, but just the timing of it, though, is a little bit off for me. Because, you know, I mean, I'm glad that Simril is here. But, uh, you know, I had a lot of other projects going on um, right now. Uh, in fact, just earlier this week, I released the uh, Train Some World Stupid Comments video, which is a video that I had wanted to make for quite a while. And I finally got a time span to do it. And I've got another project as well in the works that's going to be coming out. Um, next week um, but fortunately I was able to make some time and I've been able to bring you this video um, today the day after um, that the um, well not the day after but actually based on the day that the uh, single player testing started for Simrail um, so this game actually went into testing um, a little while ago like a couple days ago Oh, not a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago, I mean, not a couple days, a couple weeks. Um, and multiplayer testing started and stuff like that. And I've been doing stuff in multiplayer. Uh, but just today, single player mode testing has now began. Um, so I figured, well, why not make a video about it? Um, and this was kind of my plan for a while. I mean, of course, I was going to make a video on Simra because, of course, brand new game, which means I can do this video and maybe even get some extra views out of it. Um, yeah. Wait, would we seriously switch? What the heck? Okay. I'm not sure where the next stop is, though. Hmm. It says drive through, so. Okay. I'm right, back into the main line, I guess. So, I guess for now, I'll talk a little bit about Simrail itself, then. Um. So. Um. So, Simrail is a. Is a brand new game. I mean, you could have guessed it already. Um, although it's been in the works for quite a while. In fact, the prologue actually uh, came out about a year ago to this point. And this game was in development long before that. In fact, in fact I think this game first came onto the scene. Like, back in, like, um, 2020 or something. Or maybe before that, 2019. Um, and even before that. So, um, so this game has been in development for a long time long time I mean, this this is years and years of work uh, finally reaching um, the public um, um, and in fact even after the prologue initially came out about a year ago um, they kind of went dark um, for a while until just a few months ago back in like September or something where they were finally like yeah this game's coming and stuff uh, so it's gonna be in testing and beta and stuff like that before the game officially releases and of course the release date as well, January 13th. So after quite a bit of waiting, we actually have like dates now. Um, 
Uh, in fact, some multiplayer testing was already underway and single player testing just started. Uh, and like I said, the full game uh, release is due for January 13th, 2023. So that's not too far off from now. Um, so if you guys are excited and, and are looking to pick this game up, then you won't have to wait too long to do that from now. Um, but like I said, though, if you want to play the game right now, you can a little bit early. Um, uh, but this game... Wait, drop the checkpoint... I was... Okay, whatever. I don't care about the points. Okay, looks like we were going to be on the roof for quite a while because I've got to pay attention to my signals and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is a game that's been in the works for a long time now, and now it's finally uh, reached, you know, the world. So I am glad that, uh, you know, this game is finally, like, in a playable state and is out there in the world and not too far from the full release. Uh. Um, so this game is being developed by uh, developers team. I think they're called uh, Simrail SA or something. Uh, so, so this game has its like own uh, set of developers. Uh, however, the uh, publisher is these guys called Playway, uh, which is a, a publisher that you probably don't know anything about. And yeah, I, I don't really know much about them either. But I think they actually specialize in sort of like simulation games and stuff. And uh, so this game, you know, sort of fits into this is a train simulator. Um, also. I forgot to blow the horn! There you go. Um. Okay, so. Um, so what's this game about then? So, um, SimRail. It may seem perhaps like a copy of Dubto Games, Train Sim World, and stuff like that, but. Um, this isn't. This is something. Very different from uh, from what Dubtail Games have with Trains and Worlds. Um, in fact, um, even right now, there are two big features in Simrail. That are there are two big features that are in Simrail that are not in Trains and Worlds. Uh, for one, is the feature that you actually may have noticed when we were starting um, at the beginning, Dispatcher. Yes, that is right. Simrail has a dispatcher system that you can interact with. Now, I think this I think the dispatch system might be automatic for the single player mode. However, over in the multiplayer mode, you can actually interact with the dispatchers and even you can even be a dispatcher. Um so yeah, so Simrail, that's right. Simrail has a dispatching feature, which is a feature that I don't think is found in any other train simulator out there. Like dispatchers not existed in train sim world and in fact, I can't even think of another transmitter that does have Dispatcher. In fact, I think even the developers of this game said themselves that Simrail is the first commercially available transmitter to have a Dispatcher mode. And secondly, Multiplayer. This is a feature that I have been begging Dovetail to add to Transmitter for quite some time now. Uh, but thankfully, the people at Simrail have understood that, you know, Transmitter is a multiplayer. So, me, so while it, so while Train Simrail has been up for five years now, and there's still no sign of multiplayer here in Simrail, multiplayer is gonna be there right from the get go. You don't have to wait any time at all. Multiplayer is going to be there right from the start once this game releases on January 13th. And like I said, you can even play multiplayer uh, right now actually if you sign up for the uh, the play test. Um, and the multiplayer mode in this game is quite fun. It is a little bit messy at the moment. I feel like. Um, I feel like multiplayer right now in Simrail is the most complete multiplayer that there is. Like, it could, it could be a little bit, it could use a, okay, it could use a little bit of refining, but the fact that it's there in the first place is worth celebration, you know? But, you know, like I just said, Simrail, it's a little, or the multiplayer server, it's a little bit, it, it could use a bit more refining, but I'm just glad that it's there, as opposed to Train of Wall, where, where multiplayer is non-existent in that game. Um... Okay, so I guess I'll talk about some of the other things. So I guess platforms, in case you're wondering. Um, so at launch, uh, this game is going to be available for purchase on Steam. And I believe it's going to be priced for about $30 or something like that. I'm not 100% sure what the price is though, but I but they mentioned at one point that the price would be uh, $30 um, at launch. <clears throat> now, at launch, um, this game is going to be available on Steam. Uh, Steam, so at, at first this game will be PC only. Um, okay, gotta slow down pretty soon. Uh, so right, so at the launch, this game is going to be PC only. However, this game will be coming to consoles at a later point in time. Um, so eventually you will be able to play this game 
on cars, I need to s slow down because it's dropping again. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Okay, it's a little bit too much there, but that's fine. I just want to, you know, slow down enough just because I'm a little bit paranoid. I don't want to repeat of what happened the first time when I derailed. I know I'm running a little bit late, and I don't really care. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, so as I was saying, uh, this game's going to be available on PC at long time. However, at a later date, this game will be playable on consoles. As far as I'm aware, it's going to be on the newer generation consoles. So it's going to be on the Xbox Series S and X, and it will also be on the PlayStation 5. Um, although I did once read somewhere, though, I think this game might also be on the older generation consoles. So the Xbox One original, Xbox One S, and the PlayStation 4 consoles. Um, why is the current not going on? Now, um, okay, so now, um, so I'm not entirely sure, though, yet if it's coming to the last-gen consoles, uh, but I do know for a fact that this game is coming to the, um, newer generation consoles. Why is the current not going up? Okay, well, whatever, I guess we'll the train drive itself, then. <laughs> Pretty sure the brake is in the, yeah, it's in the running position. There we go. Try to give it the beans. Um, so at the moment though, there is no uh, release date yet for this game to come out on consoles. Uh, but it is scheduled for release in at some point 2023. Uh, that's kind of all we know at the moment. Um, so like I said, if you don't have the most powerful PC in the world, but you don't have a console, this game will be coming to consoles in the future. Um. And I guess another, uh, another thing that's worth mentioning, though, in the future that I'm really excited about is the editing tools. Um, so, this game is going to be getting a scenario editor, a train editor, and a scenery editor. So, yeah, so you're going to be able to do it all in this game. Um, now, the editing tools won't be there at launch. In fact, they'll like to be released in sections. So, first they're going to do the scenario editor, then they're going to do the uh, train editor, and then the, and then the route editor. Um, so I assume that the uh, that the uh, scenario editor is going to be something similar to what we have in RailWorks uh, Train Sim Classic, where you can put trains wherever you want and then tell them where to go. Um, now, train editor though, that is something that I'm not um, I'm not sure how that's going to work right now. But I assume that um, you're going to be able to do things like make reskins and stuff, um, and you'll also be able to maybe modify some other stuff, like maybe modify some of the detail. Like you might be able to take this locomotive and here and then maybe like add some stuff or maybe take away some stuff and you can probably also modify with physics as well to make your own sort of like Frankenstein train or something or I think you can even make your you'll even be able to make your own train from the ground up like if you want to make a train that doesn't already exist within Simrail I think you'll be able to do it with the train editor as well now of course this is all speculation by the way I'm not 100% sure what the uh, what the train editor is actually going to be like I'm just taking a guess um, and finally there's the, there's the route editor oh hello great crossing The great cause of this game sound kind of weird. I guess that's just how they sound in Poland. I don't know. Okay, let's buy the brakes again. And... Off. Okay, running. Alrighty. Um, so that's the editing tools. Um, now you may be wondering, uh, what is this game actually running on? So, um, so one interesting thing to know is that this game is running on the U Unity engine. Um, that's right. So, um, so as far as game, yeah, so as far as gaming is concerned, this game is running on the Unity engine. Oh! Oh, I have a station to stop at. Uh, okay. Thanks for telling me, game. Oh, I never would have known. All right, just the power. All right, let's go over to our first stop of the day. <laughs> it's 
probably stop yapping and just focus on the game, but... Okay, I think I got brakes a little bit further there. Whoops. Yeah, these brakes take quite a while to release. Yeah, so now I'm gonna undershoot the platform here. There we go. Wow, I didn't grab to a hold though. That's pretty neat. Nope. Okay, and I grabbed a hold anyway. Good job, me. What the heck? Oh, did I break it? Uh oh. I think I did one of these buttons to fix it. I may have broken the train. Why are we not getting any current? Man, okay, this train though is something else. And I'm not getting any current. Well, I guess we'll let the train roll to the platform then whilst I try to figure out how to get this thing moving again. There's this light on. I don't think that's supposed to be on. Is it? Come on, power. Okay, we are moving, but that's only because of gravity. It's not actually doing anything here. Come on, train. Okay, let's, okay, let's try to bring it to a halt then. See if we can fix it that way. Brakes now. Oh, okay, I wish the turbo come back and tell me how to do this. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. All right, good. I thought that would have happened in multiplayer a couple times. Alright, let's pull up to the station. Okay, now we can top throttle as we're now stop, uh, stopping at the first station of the day. I already made it. Okay. Welcome to Deborah Gorn. Okay, yeah, I should not try to pronounce these names because I am bad at speaking foreign languages. Okay, ready for departure? Train brake handle is in the braking. Yes. Okay, running. Use the call button on your radio telephone to oh. confirm the readiness of the train departure. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh! Exit weapon on the service to do number. Uh oh. Oh, a track malfunction? Okay. Okay, exit weapon on the service to track number one to do malfunction. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. Funnel. There we go. Okay. So we're six to twenty-five. <laughs> Brilliant. Alrighty. And yeah, I am staying outside for a lot of this. Um, I guess this is kind of to just show off the route. For anyone that's curious. Um Yeah. Alrighty, well we're getting there. Alright guys, well since we're on the move again, I guess now I'll talk about some other stuff in regards to some rail. So uh like I said, there's so there's only uh one route at the moment, uh but said route is huge. So you're going to be driving on it for quite a while, and I'm speed... Okay, you know, I'm only going to slide over the speed limit. Come on. 13 miles per hour. 
Yeah, I've stuffed that. Um, but yeah, there's 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 this is like a huge route, so you know. Oh, what? I'm not even going to the other. Why is Fiendlet going down to 13? Wait, was I supposed to switch over to the other line? I don't know. Um, but yeah, big route. Very big route. Um, and of course, to complement this route being in Poland is some Polish trains. Um, so I think there's going to be about six different trains. Um, okay, I guess it's 13. It's going to be going up for quite a while. So I guess I'll get on the brakes a bit. Are we running? Yeah, okay. Oops. What was that supposed to do? Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, um... But yeah, so the common, of course, are some Polish trains, and... Um, you do get a lot of variety with these trains as well. You know, they don't, like, up... They don't, like, include multiple, like, different trains, but they're all, like, similar. Um, you do get quite a bit of variation... Um, in rolling stock, uh, with this game. Um, now I don't actually know the names of these trains, so they call them like E something, some number. Uh, but I haven't actually like memorized all of them, and I don't really know like what these trains actually are. So, uh, but I can at least tell you the kind of trains that you'll be getting, uh, in Simrail. So, um, you really have a bit of everything, uh, with this game. You have commuter, uh, inner city, high speed freight and even a steam train yes so as for your commuter train you have like that uh uh we have a train of course you have your yeah you have your like commuter train so stop start commuter trains you can be stopping and starting quite a lot on that you have this train which i guess is going to be primarily used for the inner city passenger trains although this local can also be used for uh freight hauling as well um uh, and then there's and then for the high speed passenger train there's this train called the uh, pendolino and, um, no, this is not the Class 390, uh, Pendolino, the one that runs in Britain. This is a different kind of Pendolino. Um, uh, you may have saw it in the intro, actually, so, um, but yeah, there's a Pendolino high-speed train, uh, that's gonna be coming with us as well. Um, uh, at the moment, um, though not all these trains are drivable, um, well, not right now, but of course those will be, those will be drivable once we get the full version of the game. Um... And now uh, you do have a, uh, you also have two different uh, freight hauling locomotives as well. Uh, so this locomotive can also be used for freight hauling, but you also have the uh, uh, the E one eight six Trax locomotive, which is the which is similar to the uh, German BR one uh, eight something something of sausages that runs in German land. Yes, um, and you also have this other locomotive as well, uh, which don't know, don't know the name of. Um, and finally, there will also be a steam engine as well. Um, yeah. So now, as of right now, um, only three of these are drivable in this uh, testing version. So we have this locomotive, along with that commuter train that I mentioned, as well with the uh, Trax locomotive. Um, all the other trains... Um, um, I mean, I guess if, if a train is to come, it will probably be included once we get the... Um, once we get the full version of this game on January 13th. Also, we are apparently four minutes late. Although, when we're we supposed to get switched on to... Oh. Okay, wait. Finally, we can accelerate. Um, but yeah, lots of different trains with this route. And there's even different kind of bits of the route as well. You also have, like, an industrial section. Uh, where you would, like, do, uh, freight trains. Um, there's... Of course, you get a good amount of passenger stations and stuff, and... There's a lot to do in this game. Like, yeah, it's only one route, but you do get a lot of trains and a lot of things to do with those trains on this route. And the route itself, again, it's huge. So, yeah, a lot of stuff to do in this game. Um, however, uh, one thing else I almost forgot to mention is that, um, so I don't know how true this is, but I kept, I had, I kept hearing couple say that there's going to be some, uh, some other DLC routes coming in the future. So, uh, so right now, so this game is going to have the, this Polish route and along with, uh, these trains. However, apparently, according to some people, there are also plans uh, for a couple DLCs. Uh, one of which will be a German route, and the other which will be an American route. Um, 
So I don't really know anything about those, um, really. That's just, I just heard word about that from some of the content creators and even some people in the forums, but, um, but yeah, so if Polish trains aren't really your fancy, um, there will be, apparently there will be German and American stuff in this game in the future, and I think there are also plans to even extend this route as well. So this route is already, um, so I believe this route is 500 kilometers in total length as I'm coming to the station. Let's make sure we stop at time. Whoops. Okay, come on. But yeah, a lot of stuff as I'm now. Almost went to the emergency braking. Okay, this train is something to get used to. Okay, let's just go up to the station. Oh, ball, it's happened again. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on. Ah, well. Yeah, this train's a bit difficult to control. That's some guys used. You know, that's why I'm glad it's used for inner city trains because you do go quite a quite a ways without stopping. Okay, now we're on the platform. And as soon as it's green, something we're about over the platform. Let's buy the brakes. And okay, a little bit more. And here we are. Next station, this is Benzin. Okay, so we're six minutes behind schedule. Are the doors open? There we go. Alrighty. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, lots of stuff coming for this game in the future. So, really, uh, when this game comes out on, on January the, the 13th, um... That's really just the beginning of this game. There's a lot of stuff to come uh, once the game releases um, on January the 13th. Okay, let's race. Wait for the brakes to release, I guess. There we go. Oh, what? Oh. You can supply too much power there. Oh, I'll have to fix it now. There we go. You know, too much power, I guess. Like I said, this look as a uh, tap changer. Now, with that being said, though, if you're not really much a fan of driving with a tap changer, um, there are trains in this game that just use more standard ways of driving. Uh, I believe the commuter train, actually, the commuter train, uh, or whatever it's called, might be the easiest train to drive, actually. Uh, out of three trains that we have in this game at the moment, uh, the track locomotive as well. I haven't actually driven the track locomotive yet in this uh, in this playtest version. I did drive the track locomotive in the uh, prologue, and in there was easy enough. Um, but I do probably should consider um, try taking that again just to see what's about. Alrighty. Okay, so speed limit drops to 62 and then down to... Actually, drops down to 50. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna accelerate not too much. Alright, we're approaching Katowice, our final destination. Um, but yeah, overall, I really like the direction that Simrail is going in. Um, I mean, even before it's released, um, the developers are definitely taking all of the right steps with this game. You know, they're beta testing it, they're making sure that everything works. What was that noise? <laughs> They're making sure that everything it works, everything is good before the game um, does release, which I definitely do think is the right thing to do. You know, you don't want to release a game and then it's a broken pile of rubbish. Um, we see we see that way too much in in uh, current uh, gaming these days. So I am definitely glad the developers are taking the right steps with this game and making sure that it's as good as it can be. And even from playing this uh, this playtest version, the game is mostly complete. Like pretty much most of the stuff that's like gonna be like. So sort of like big features, it's all there. Um, as far as like you know, driving and multiplayer and stuff. Um, of course, now there is a couple of things in this game that are just not even in the game right now. Um, um, you know, like for example, there's still some trains that we can't drive. Funnily enough, um, the um, the high speed train, the Pendolino, it is like in this game, but it's currently right now. It's it's currently just um, AI only. You can't actually drive it right now. Hello, crossing. <laughs> Hi, 
My crossing sounds so strange. Oh, our next stop is coming up as well. Okay. Alrighty. Um, but yeah, developers have taken the right steps with this game, you know, testing to make sure it works. And I am definitely looking forward to, like, what's to come as well in the future with, like, the editing tools and stuff like that and how the console releases, releases go. And you know what? I am of the belief that, like, once more people find out about SimRail and once this game, like, reaches, like, the broader scope of everything, I think that SimRail is going to become more popular than Dovetail Games... Uh, train some world like I think There's gonna be a point in the future where this will just become the game to play or the train simulator to play Um, I mean just off the bat it has stuff like multiplayer and all the editing features well there do for release as well And even everything coming after it Also, wow Gonna be slowing down in time for this section here, <laughs> Could have ended in disaster if I wasn't paying attention. Um, but yeah, of course, this video I'm making today, um, this will be the first of a number of videos that I'll be making um, on this game. Now, I have a lot. Now that being said, though, I have a lot of other stuff going on. Um, so this is likely going to be the last. Uh, the first and last sim reveal that I make until the game releases on January 13th. How when it does release, though, I do have some plans and a lot of ideas if I want to cover this game when it does release. Okay, maybe I'll do one more video before the the uh, the full release um, comes out if there's anything sort of worth looking at. Um, another thing worth mentioning, you guys might think, um, hey, Frony, you should also do a video of you playing multiplayer on this game and. Um, that is something I probably will do in the future, uh, but there's already, you know, I think there's already a good number of videos, though, out there that are, like, covering sort of, like, the multiplayer aspect of this game, but, you know, that being said, if you really want to see me in particular cover multiplayer, then, yeah, that's definitely something that I can, uh, look into. Um. Yes. So. Uh, oh, here's the next station, and we're actually going slow enough to stop here, I guess. Souls No Wiggalowny. I have to leave is uh, Katowitz, which is the last stop for this journey. We're actually running a little bit late, so this video is going to go on for a little bit longer than than it probably should have. But you know, this one is a little bit all over the place, though, so I'm gonna have to give it a second try at some point. Okay, on the brakes. Make sure the trains in the platform. Uh, whoops. Oh, whoops! Stop. Oh, really? Come on. Balls. I was just a couple inches to... Yeah. This is sort of platform looks like. I'm trying to you know, be cautious here. Alright, come on. And... And you can stop now. Alright. Made to the station. Open doors. Yes. <laughs> I know I'm running late. Um, this scenario though isn't like. Um, this scenario's a bit weird though. Yeah. I will say this though about some rail. It is mostly there, but I think there are a couple things that could be refined though. Like it's not 100% perfect just yet. Um. Like, okay, I guess if I were to go into a couple things I don't necessarily like about SimRail, I am not a fan of the UI at all. I think it's very, um... It's not really that user-friendly, all things considered. Um... You know, like, as far as, like, UI is concerned, I will say I do prefer the UI over in Train Sim World, and I do wish that this game had, like, a UI that was sort of, like, comparative to that. And... You know, perhaps maybe someday this game will get a, a new UI, or at least a more refined UI. Um, but that's kind of a, a, more of a nitpick, though. You know, otherwise, I think this game is is really good at the moment. So yeah, I mentioned. Uh, oh boy, 
You know, I was just talking, I just was talking about the Unity engine earlier before I got a bit sidetracked by some things, but yeah. So in case you're wondering what, what this game is running on, uh, so this game is running on the Unity engine. Um, this game is not running on the Unreal engine, which is used for most games these days, I think, or at least most simulation games, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, not run Unreal engine, or, um, and this game also isn't running on, like, or, well, basically this game isn't running on, like, um, any, uh, any, like, other pre-existing engine either. This game is running on the Unity engine. And in case you're wondering, um, I don't believe, yeah, so you, um, so, um, now, if you, if you've been in sort of, like, the game landscape long enough, you might, you may have heard of, like, that name before, like, the Unity engine, um, and, um, um, I guess that being said, I guess you might, uh, might be looking at the graphics, yes, and, um, you know what, I think the graphics of this game are pretty good, um, now, yes, I guess one thing that you might that you might think to yourself is that um, Train Sim World does look a little bit better, and um, yeah, I will admit that um, that Train Sim World does, I guess, look nicer, you could say, than SimRail. But you know what? Even then, the graphics in SimRail they're not bad, all things considered. They're they're pretty solid. Um, but you know, graphics of course aren't necessarily the biggest thing. You know, people say, oh, well, well, graphics, you know, gameplay is a lot more important than the graphics. And, yeah, this is true. And that being said, though, yeah, I the gameplay of SimRail is definitely better uh, than Train Sim World. And even as, like, far as features and stuff like that, there's, like, there's, you know, a lot more to do in SimRail than there is to do in Train Sim World. So, so yeah, Train Sim World does beat out SimRail in the graphics department. I did, And I do prefer the UI of of Train Sim World as well over SimRail, but otherwise, I think that SimRail is better than Train Sim World in just about every other category. Um, like you can definitely tell that a lot of like, a lot of love and care went into SimRail, and even as far as like the detail, I guess I'd say that that Sim uh, that the detail in SimRail is better than Train Sim World. Like over in, in Train Sim World, um, you know, there's a few routes. Here and there, that just look a little bit barren in some areas. Like, there's definitely like some bits of some routes in in Train Sim World that just, you know, just definitely could use more detailing. Um, but that's not really an issue here in SimRail. Here in SimRail, there is detail just about everywhere you look. I mean, just look in the world. There is stuff everywhere, and you know, it definitely makes for a pretty picture here in SimRail. Just how much stuff there is to see in this game. <clears throat> um, Session. So yeah, lots to see in this game. Um, and the truth is, yeah, I just, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I probably said it, but yeah, it's a real better game than Train Some World in my opinion, and I think a lot of people agree with me on that as well. Like I said, though, SimRail, it's not perfect. There are a couple areas where I feel like SimRail could use a couple refinements, but I think overall my biggest, uh, my biggest sort of like issues with this game, they're they're pretty minor, all things considered. You know, they're like they're like it's nothing like big or game breaking. It's just minor stuff that could probably be fixed in like a patch or something later on down the line. So it's not really a big deal. So, uh, on the whole, I am very happy with uh, with this game right now. And I can't wait to get all the scenarios and stuff. Okay, we're gonna... My speed a little bit. Okay, the other bridge is a tiny amount. There we go. Okay, next up is Katowitz. Which would be the last stop for this uh, service. Oh, guys, speed goes down even more later on. Okay, I'll prepare for that. That happens. But yeah, and of course, I will inevitably do a live stream where I do drive the entirety of this route from Warzo, or from Katowice to Warzo. Uh, and it's a really long route. 310 miles from end to end. Man, I wonder how long that's going to take to complete. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to be a very long stream when that happens.
Okay, game's a little bit stuttery. Optimization as well is for the most part good, but I guess is a little bit rough around the edges though in some places. Okay, all right, gotta get the brakes now. Okay, and we'll go back into running. Come on. It smells the current doesn't come back for some reason. Yeah, this is a bit. This look was a bit more difficult to drive than the other ones, so you kind of have to sort of learn how to drive this thing properly. So yeah. Oh, speed goes down twenty five at the signal anyway. So okay. Alright, so nearly at Katowice, which is the southern end of this route. Um, so it's about the moment you can't actually drive to like the northern end all the way, like all the way to uh, uh, Warzo. Um, so right now, as far as I as I know, in the multiplayer mode, you can only you can drive from Katowice to somewhere in like the middle of the line or something. Um, so. You know, that's funny. You know, even if you drive multiplayer, though, you might you might feel like this route is pretty long. Oh, don't worry, though. That's only half of it. This route's going to get even longer. Or we're, or we're going to be able to drive on even more of this route um, in the future. Uh, once all the uh, sausages is out and stuff. So, yeah. Alrighty, welcome to Katowice. Okay, it's gonna go a little bit faster this time. Come on. Okay, I don't know why the codes are bouncing though. That's a little weird. Yeah, okay, red light because of course. Oh, it has to be a red light at the end of these platforms. So Catalyst is a pretty big station. Oh, there doesn't seem to be any AI in this scenario, though. That's a bit unfortunate. Like I said, though, this is just a, a playtest version, though, so there might be AI later on, but mm, we'll see. Alrighty. Okay, the big station. Okay, there we go. Alright, stop now. Thank you. Oh, that's it. Oh. There you go. That's all of our details, I guess. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, grab a poster. Check that out. Oh, well. <laughs> well, there you go, then. Oh, uh, that's all. Let's get to the menu. Oh. Okay. Black screen. Oh, here we go. Well, then, that's going to do it um, for this video. Um, so, there you go. First SimRail video um, is now out there on the Fur 13 channel. Of course, there will be more Simro videos in the future, but, but, um, this video, though, is kind of going to be, like, sort of, like, a, a test run for me, just to see, I want to see how well this video performs, and, 
Um, you know, I want to see, well, basically, how much, how, how badly do you guys want me to make, um, more Simro videos? Hmm, yes. Well, of course, if you guys would like to see more Simro on this channel, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, and of course, if you have any other comments, questions, concerns, or whatever, uh, again, leave those down in the comment section as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in whatever I make next.